I think as soon as I knew that I wanted to pursue engineering, I think Drexel really stood out to me because of the co-op program. I think having that hands-on industry experience was really important for me. And for someone like me who didn't really know exactly what my career would look like, it was an opportunity to try out different fields, technologies, devices, and see from there what I really wanted to do. And Drexel is also in the heart of Philadelphia, which is a city I've grown up near my whole life. So it was very close to home, but also something new. Why I decided to study abroad was because I think being bicultural, being Asian American, that experience has provided me a lot of opportunities for growth and self-reflection. And so I've always really valued what culture is and how interesting it can be. So going to another country had always been on top of my to-do list. And to study there, I think, would have really been a once-in-a-lifetime thing, different from a vacation. It would be a chance to really see a new education system and be a part of it. I took French in high school starting from seventh grade up until my junior year, and then I took one more class here when I was at Drexel. I did not feel adequately prepared, so I think one thing I didn't realize is I think learning French in a classroom setting is kind of like being in a vacuum where conditions are perfect and it's really there for you to develop your French. But when you actually arrive in France, your ability to understand, write, read, or under, you know, listen to French is really expected and people aren't really there to accommodate you as much. Even though everyone there was really kind, I think my language barrier was definitely an, like a formidable issue that I had to face and it definitely made learning a bit harder but it also compelled me to learn my French very quick. I had to get pretty creative with how I was learning French. So even though I had my French class that was two hours a week, I had to be improving my ling linguistic ability outside of class too. So that came down to when I was meeting people, being consistent about speaking French, even though they wanted to know a lot about me and that I was from America, um, I always responded in French and made sure to ask people like, hey, am I saying this correctly? Or how do you actually explain this in French? So being proactive about that made it so that by the end of my time in France, I was able to have full conversations in French without relying on English.